So my name is Larry Lessig. I'm a professor of law at Stanford Law School. Uh, and I'm very happy to be here. I want to tell you a story that begins with a very close friend, a friend named Joey Ito, who had a diet. And Joey told me about the diet. And last September, I started the diet. And within a couple months, I had lost about 60 pounds. And then my congressman stepped aside, and I had a kind of Mike Huckabee moment. <laughs> where I thought, I've lost 60 pounds. I have to run, right? So people suggested this idea of running for Congress. And I said I'd consider it. So for about a week, I thought about it. And in that week, when I was thinking about this idea of running for Congress, I got an extraordinary amount of advice from everybody around the world, literally. And most of the advice was extremely kind. But the advice from my friends, my closest friends, was extraordinarily cruel. My friend said, this is the dumbest idea you have ever entertained. Indeed, my friend Joel Hyatt wrote me a five-page brief, single-spaced. At the very end, his last subtitle was, and even if you win, in his lawyer, I'll argue in the alternative-like way, this will lessen you. Lessen you. And I thought, me? I'm just a professor of law. How could being a member of Congress lessen me? And then we did some polls in my district about what people in the district thought. And the most extraordinary statistic from those polls, after the one that said that I had zero chance of winning such an election, <laughs> the most extraordinary statistic was a statistic which said 88% of the voters in my district believed money buys results in Congress. 16% of the people in my district had a favorable impression of Congress. Now, this is an extraordinary set of statistics. The one speaks to the fact that people have lost faith in the basic way in which this, the most basic institution of our democracy, functions. They've lost faith. They've stopped listening. And when people come along with great ideas for reform, their eyes glaze over because they say, reform? Sure. Reform by the insiders to preserve the system which we already know doesn't work. And the unfavorable rating that this institution gets is as low as it has ever been. No matter who wins this presidential election, the presidency will rise again to an institution everyone trusts. The Supreme Court, despite arguments about whether it goes too far to one side or too far to the other, is still an extraordinary institution in our democracy, which we respect. But this institution, the one our framers were most proud of, we have no respect for. Now, I submit there will be many extremely difficult ideas that are put before you in these weeks. Many impossible ideas. But we all should be embarrassed by the fact that the most impossible idea that you will hear in your time here is the idea that we imagine, we dream, for the day where we once again could trust and respect our government. Talk about impossible ideas. Thank you very much.